So you've either twisted your ankle or you've gotten some type of skateboarding injury. What's up y'all, my name is Sean Brown and today I'm gonna to be going over how you can recover quickly from your skate injuries. So as you can tell from the first few clips I played in the beginning, I have gone through quite a few ankle twists or you know, falls, bails, there's a whole bunch of things that have hurt me in skateboarding and I know it sucks and it takes a while sometimes to get back into skating just because of how eager people are to get back into skating after having an injury. So before I start, if you're new here, consider subscribing because I post a whole bunch of skate tips for beginners, intermediate people, even advanced people coming soon. Um, so if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also make sure you like and comment below as well. So one of the first things I can say that if you get an injury, make sure you do a quick assessment of yourself to see how injured you are. Like if you twist your ankle while skating, please don't continue skating right away. Even if you have a bunch of adrenaline, you might have the potential to hurt yourself even more. Because I've done this before where I twisted my ankle, I was really eager to get back into skating and I basically re-twisted my ankle and it took me a lot longer to get back in than if I just waited patiently. So if it's something super severe, I would really recommend going to a doctor because they'll actually be able to give you the best advice for how to heal quickly. And it's gonna be bad news because most of the time you are just gonna have to stop with your skating. So the first thing I wanna go over is the rice method. So basically you're just gonna pour rice all over your injury and then it should fix it. Now, nah, I'm really just kidding, but RICE is actually an acronym for rest, ice, compress, and elevate. So first, you obviously want to rest wherever you injured, especially for sprains. Um, so if you injured your ankle or you like sprained your wrist, you definitely want to stop. You want to give it some rest so it has time to heal up. Some things I can recommend to do while you're bored while you're resting is really just like, you know, watch some skate videos, maybe play some skate video games. Speaking of that, I might have gaming skate videos come to the channel soon. You guys voted on my Instagram. So let me know in the comments down below what type of skate games you'd like to see me play. I know Skater XL is coming out soon, so maybe I can get that going. But yeah, just try to do stuff that can, you know, distract you from trying to skateboard. I know like some of those like watching skate videos or playing skate games might get you more motivated so you might want to try something else that might distract you but really just give time for your injury to kind of heal back. You don't want to rush into things and re-injure yourself. So for next is ice. You definitely want to ice the area that is sprained. So usually I only recommend icing for like the first or second day so like while the injury is pretty fresh and you know it's pretty simple. You can get like a cold bag of peas or you can actually get like a bag of ice and you know you can put a cloth over like your injury place first before you like actually put ice through a bag on it um, just to make it more comfortable but really make sure you ice the area just so that you know it kind of cools it down and I'm not really a doctor or anything but I just know icing the area helps especially like when you just injure yourself so really just make sure you ice it the next is compress so uh, most of the time you can get a brace for this so I actually have two kinds of braces so first is like you know almost like an ankle wrap. So this is just kind of, you know, like flexible material. Um, this can really help if it's kind of like a light injury. If it's more severe, you might want to get like a full brace. So if you see this one here, uh, this one that has a whole bunch of straps you could put on your feet. Uh, you know, it's got even a lace to tie it to make it tight. Um, so this can actually help you if it's really severe and you really need to keep um, you know, compression on your ankle. Um, if you have uh, a wrist sprain, you might uh, find a wrist guard. Some have straps. I know some are just like the easy um, cloth type like this. So make sure you look into getting some type of compression if it's a sprain. And then lastly, you want to elevate it. So you don't want to like, if you uh, injured your ankle, let's say, you don't want to just leave it on the ground. Like, so if you're resting, you want to like sit on a couch or some type of surface where you can actually hold your foot up like this. You know, you just want to leave it up just so you're not really, you know, putting weight on it. I think that's the main reason. You don't want to actually put weight on whatever you're having, especially like if it's like, let's say something like your arm, you definitely want to like keep trying to extend your arm instead of just, you know, letting it lay flat where you could possibly put weight on it and add more stress to it. So really just make sure you can like elevate it and kind of like, you know, give it space to rest where it's not really touching anything. So the next step actually goes with the rest component of rice. So really make sure that you actually don't skate for a while. I know it's really hard to not skate, especially when you're having so much fun with it. You really wanna make sure that you're giving your body time to rest. So, you know, sometimes it might take weeks. It could take even months. You just need to be really patient. There's one injury that took me out for like three to four months. It really sucked. I honestly think I should have waited even longer because when I started skating on again, I still felt pain. I was trying to push through it, but I feel like it just kind of delayed my healing process even more. So really just make sure you have time for it to rest. Like try to just like assess how your ankle feels throughout the time. And you know, just if it still hurts, I just recommend not skating, right? Also, while you're resting, I really recommend to actually like 
kind of stretch. If it's like a sprain, really stretch either your wrist, your ankle, really try to regain motion in your ankle. And I really recommend doing that like maybe a week or two after. Don't really try to go too fast into, you know, stretching wherever you injured yourself but really try to regain motion because you don't really want to heal a stiff wrist or a stiff ankle. You want to try to you know, slowly just get some motion back into your joints. Then when you're finally ready to get back into skating, seriously, I just recommend taking time off though, but when you're ready, treat it like a rehab session, right? You don't want to be, you know, just go back into skating, skating like 10 stairs, five stairs, whatever you skate. Like you don't want to go too hard. You kind of want to treat it easy, you know, maybe do tricks that don't bend ankles too much or like where you might fall on your wrist too much. So you can try, you know, maybe just doing like manuals, shove it, easy stuff. Cause I think you should just try to expect that you're not really gonna be at your full capacity when you're getting back into skating after an injury. You kind of want to ease back into where you left off. Man, it is really windy. I don't know if you can hear the wind through the mic. Hopefully it's holding up a little bit. <laughs> So like I said, really just take it easy, make it like a rehab session. You don't want to rush into things because I'm telling you, having a re-injury like I've had before is worse than just injuring yourself and then waiting till it fully heals because it takes even longer since it was previously injured before. So you're making it hurt even more. And lastly, one of the most important tips I can give, especially if you're skating obstacles, is to wear a helmet. Seriously, this is one of the most important injury preventable measures that you can take. I don't wear a helmet all the time. It's just a personal preference. Y'all, I swear I have like the worst luck when it comes to trying to film a video. It just started raining and my battery died on my camera. So I'm back now, don't worry about it. But like I was saying, having a helmet really can save you, seriously. I know I should be wearing my helmet all the time. Like I said before, it's just a personal preference when I'm skating flat ground. But whenever I'm skating obstacles, I always wear a helmet just because if you hit your head, at least you'll have something to protect you there and you really don't have to worry about anything else because that's the best measure you can take to protect your head while skateboarding. So that pretty much wraps it up. Just know it's gonna be a lot of patience and skateboarding should teach you patience overall. But just know when you get injured, really just be patient with it. Take your time, let yourself heal up so you can actually get back into skateboarding because that's the whole goal after an injury. So if y'all have gone through any injury or have advice for other people here watching, make sure you comment below what your advice is for healing an injury so you can get back into skating quickly. Um, so you see, I think that's just super awesome how I've formed like a community where people like interact with each other in the comments. So if you have any tips on top of mind, make sure you comment that down below. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those post notifications so you can also get notified when I upload new videos. Yeah, just thank you all so much. See you in the next video. Peace.